references to other games not related to the Fallout series in Fallout 4. In the southern area of Bradburton, in the Nuka World DLC, you can find a small house with a Chinese officer's sword sticking into a mound of ash. This mound can be kindled into a fire, which will trigger stim packs to fall from the air. This is a reference to Dark Souls, where when resting at a similar looking bonfire with a sword sticking out will regenerate your health. In the South Boston Police Department, there is an entry on the evidence terminal pertaining to a suspect named Nicole Conley, who is accused of the crime of Grand Theft Auto. Her name is shortened to Nico in the evidence log entries, a reference to Nico Bellic and the 2008 Grand Theft Auto 4. When exploring the Pridwin, we can find a unique consumable called Experimental Plant, originally found by a field scribe at the mouth of a river. It looks very similar to the Ninroot plant from the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. It can also mostly be found along lakes and riverbanks. Another Skyrim reference can be found on one of the Taboo Tattoo magazine covers that shows the iconic Iron Helmet at the bottom right corner. In the Pitpoy image of the quest's nuclear family, the depiction of father bears an almost identical appearance to Dr. Thomas Light from the Mega Man series by Capcom. A utility pole east of Sanctuary Hills, outside of the robotics disposal ground, has a plaque that reads TES-01, a reference to the Elder Scrolls 1 Arena, released in 25th of March, 1994. In the Automatron DLC, in Robco Sales and Service Center, you can find Jangles the Moon Monkey and the Clapping Monkey playing the very first video game ever released, Pong, from 1972. Night Captain Kate on the Pridwin will sometimes say, Please state the nature of your medical emergency. A reference to StarCraft where the Terran medics say the exact same thing. State the nature of your medical emergency. There are a bunch of mini-games in Fallout 4 that reference different classic retro games from the 1980s, like the Red Menace Pitboy game that is very similar to the popular real-world Nintendo game Donkey Kong. Zeta Invaders is another mini-game found on one of the desks inside Valentine's Detective Agency, obviously referencing the well-known arcade game Space Invaders. Atomic Command, found in the Museum of Freedom, is a reference to the Atari's Missile Command released in 1980. Atomatron is another unique minigame found in the Rust Devil gaming terminal in the Fort Hagen hangar, a reference to an arcade game called Robotron 2084. Inside Hubris Comics, in a display case, we can find a unique weapon called Grognax Axe. This axe looks almost identical to the Iron Battle Axe from the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. One of the US Covert Operations Manual is titled Bushes, Boxes and Beehives Camouflage Special, a reference to the Metal Gear series by Konami. But that's all I have for you this time, hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.